Hey guys, I'm Sam Cambetis and in today's video I'm going to show you how to connect your smart TV to your mobile phone's hotspot. So in this video we'll be using a Samsung TV and a Samsung mobile phone. But if you have a different brand TV or an iPhone or a different brand Android phone, that's okay. You can still follow along um, because it's going to be very similar. It's just that your settings for the TV and your mobile phone will look slightly different. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get out your mobile phone and we're going to scroll down from the top and just check that our mobile data is turned on. And then you want to navigate to your phone's settings. And in here you want to look for your phone's hotspot. So on the Samsung phone it's under connections and then mobile hotspot and tethering. And then we can see mobile hotspot, we'll click on that. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you're in here is make sure that the band is set to 2.4, not 5 gigahertz. It's not going to work on 5 gigahertz, so you want to change that to 2.4. So once you've done that, just take note of your network name. Mine is Android Hotspot and your password. You can change this. I would recommend using a better password than the one I've got. This is just a test for this video. Then once you've done that, turn your hotspot on. Okay, so I'll quickly show you how this is done on an iPhone. You want to go to your settings and then to personal hotspot. And then you can see down the bottom here we have maximize compatibility. So your iPhone by default is set to 5 gigahertz and by switching this on it's going to switch it over to 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, so we want to turn the hotspot on now. So you just go allow others to join and then if we scroll down here you can see the name of the hotspot is called iPhone. Then if we just scroll back up a little bit, then we can see the password for the hotspot. And if you click on that, you can go in and change the password or view the whole password because you can see it's cut off a little bit there. Okay, so now we'll head over to the TV and turn it on. And then we want to press the home button if the menu is not already appearing. And this will bring us to the settings should be very similar on most TVs but you're just looking for this settings cog. We'll navigate over to that, click on settings and then we want to scroll down to network and go to open network settings. Then here we want to click wireless and this is going to open up and show us all of our Wi-Fi networks that are available to us. So whether it's your home Wi-Fi if you have one or in here we can see our Android hotspot, which is my Samsung phone. So let's scroll down and click on that one. And then we're going to enter the password that was displayed in the hotspot settings on your phone. And then click done. And so now we can see it's trying to connect. And there we go, we've got a tick. We are now connected to our phone's hotspot. So we can close out of the settings now and go test it out. So let's just go over to YouTube and we'll select a video. Okay, so that's working. Um, and if you do run into any issues, make sure you double check that your mobile data is turned on um, and that you are on the 2.4 gigahertz band on your phone or you've turned on the maximum capabilities on the iPhone. And also checking your phone's reception. So if you've only got like one bar and you have a really bad reception in your house, um, you might find it's having trouble connecting. Um, I had about two bars on my phone and it worked. So you should be okay, but that's just something to keep in mind if you're having issues. The last thing I wanted to mention is that when you're using your phone's hotspot, you are using your phone's mobile data so keep that in mind when you're watching Netflix on your TV um, or any other streaming services that it will th chew through the data pretty fast. So make sure you have a pretty big um, mobile phone data plan. Otherwise, um, you're probably going to end up paying for that. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. And make sure you hit that like button if you found this video helpful and go check out my other videos. I have one about connecting your mobile hotspot to your Google Chromecast, which you might find handy if you have a Chromecast. Anyways, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.